Hello and welcome to yet another Android video. I believe this is the seventh video. In this video we're gonna create a new object called ground. We're gonna draw it so it doesn't look like the player is running in the air. So let's just take a look at we, what we have done so far. We have as you all know as you all know created a player. But in the previous video we created a new variable called score. We drew it to the skin. The screen, sorry. And when the current score exceeds the high score, it's gonna the high score is gonna change itself according to the score. And we also managed to do when we hit a coin, we remove the coin, and we add another 500 points to our score. Just look when I take this coin. See, 2,000. So let us get started. We are first gonna start with creating a new class, and we're gonna call it. Let's call it ground. Let's see. New class ground. Here we got it. Public ground. And it's gonna be just like our player and our coin. We're gonna make a game view. A bitmap BMP and an integer X and an integer Y. I'm gonna say it's game view dot sorry. This dot game view equal to game view. This dot bmp equal to bmp. This dot x equal to x. This dot y equal to y. And I'm gonna create each initialize each of these. And so we're gonna create an undraw method. Public void on draw of a canvas and canvas dot draw bitmap BMP and at X and Y point. I'm gonna make that one null. We're also going to create an update method and call it in Dondra. For now, we're not going to touch this. We basically got everything we need for the moment in the ground class. We're going to we're going to get over to our game view and we're going to create a, a list of our ground, just like we have done before. If this is going too fast, just go back to, I think it's the second video and you will see me doing this at a slower pace. I'm going to create our bitmap, ground BMP. And we're going to create a new method first in here. We're going to call it add ground. Public void add ground. This is going to create the ground for us. And we're we're going to initialize our ground BMP. Re.decode resource. r.drawable.ground. And we're going to create our ground object. Really fast. And as always, remove the white space by selecting everything by pressing Ctrl and A and then delete it. I'm going to get over here, build our project again. Go ahead and build it. There we go. And now in our add ground method, add ground void, we're gonna initialize and variable xx. And we're gonna do 
this we are gonna create a while statement while xx is less than canvas dot get sorry game view dot what this dot get width alright yeah this dot get width as long as xx is less than as long as it is less than our width of the screen we're gonna add our ground ground dot add uh, this and ground beam p at xx position and at 0 y int alright new ground this should fix it yeah there we go I'm gonna increase the xx by our ground beam p dot get width So it's going to increase by the width of the sprite, and every time it's going to redraw another ground at the next location. And we are actually going to draw our y variable at at the ground position, which we're going to get from the player over here. Why oh, game you that get tight? Game view dot get height the height of the screen minus sixty four minus play your height no this should work minus sixty four oh y plus there we go and x position yes yes let's see if this will work it should work I think let's just get our game running okay apparently not I did something wrong hmm We did call it right. Add ground. Add ground. Oh, maybe it would, maybe it is, is this. We're drawing the background color after our after we draw the ground. This makes the background overlap our ground. So maybe let's hope it's that. Because if not, we're gonna have to look for the problem, and that might take a while. Installing. Alright, that did not work. Add the ground. Oh, right. Oh, oh. We've got to add the uh, Android method in our game view. Such a simple mistake. So, we're gonna create four ground. Ground. Uh, ground dot on draw at our canvas. Let's see if we can make it work now. Come on. Woohoo! Let's see if it is at the correct position. Oh, excellent, excellent. Awesome. Now we got our ground. This is pretty nice, actually. Now we just have to make this move, but we're not going to do that in this video since it is already way too long. Uh, 
and let us start again. That was all for this video. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe and like, leave a comment. Feedback is always welcome. And if you like games, watch my brother's channel. He plays WoW and he plays League of Legends. And we're soon gonna play Minecraft together. So, bye bye, have a nice day.